What is up, people? It's me, Bailey 911 the most monotone speaking person in the entire world, showing no emotion in anything he says ever at all in any type of situation, even if he is happy or sad. Anyway, I'm coming at you with an update, as you can tell by the title. I don't know if you're stupid and you can't read for some reason, but I don't know. I, I don't know who you are. I wasn't being judgmental. No, no, I wasn't saying you're stupid. I was just trying to generalize. You no, know, you're fucking stupid. Anyway, so I'm coming up with you a commentary. Just kind of updating what's going on, what the current situation is. Um, yeah, it's a little bit long, I know, but bear with us. If, if we get to the end of the video, too, I'll probably just throw some music on um, from Mr. Objob. Because he's got some really interesting music, guys, and I actually think it's pretty cool. And we're working an intro in with one of the songs that he has, because it actually has I'm Ballin' in it, and that's one of the things I'm going to try to fit into an intro. So, to get off right on topic is that um, I'm looking for the editor situation to get resolved. Now, I'll explain the situation, and I'll try to give you as much detail to understand what do I need. Anyway, um, in the current editor situation was is I got a first offer from about three people. None of them worked out. And then the last guy who I actually was going to accept was Junaid Videos, but unfortunately he sent me a message saying his laptop completely burned out and he's unable to do edits. Uh, the guy I currently have right now is uh, Vujin Edits, and he said that he is only going to do the promo for me, and I'm going to pay him for doing the promo. And what the promo is, is it's going to be uploaded on a clan recruiting channel to basically see if I can get any good clan offers for me to join. Now, what I'm going to be needing, guys, is that I'm honestly not considering doing clans anymore because uh, with the world record event so close and me wanting to host my own clan, I don't think I'm going to have really any patience for working with any other clan unless it's very big or widely known one and there's only really three of them that are very big and widely known that I would actually consider joining but uh, that's a different story we'll get to that later so anyway guys I, what I'm gonna look for now in editors is I'm not looking for extreme professionalism I'm not looking for uh, great edits that I have to pay for no I'm looking for somebody who also wants to get involved in clans and I mean that in the most sincere way that you have to want to get involved in a clan you don't want to join trickers. You shouldn't be aiming to do that. You shouldn't aim to get money from this. You sh your aim should be that you want to join a big clan that you can edit for. And you have a lot of time to dedicate to for just editing for me at the moment. Now what that means is, guys, is that if I send you clips, you use them, you edit them. If you find that they're not up to standards, you just bring it back to me and say, this one's really not good enough, so I'm not going to do it. But here's the other thing, guys, is that I am also a regular gun kill feeder, so I don't do just sniper or just trick shots. I do regular guns, I do knifing, and I do uh, sniper feeds, mainly regular guns, and I do have a lot of sniper ones saved up, but that's my main focus, guys. So... If you want to become an editor, you need to have time to dedicate to this because this is a process. And over the time, you know, I'm going to try to push you as far as you can to get into a clan. But I don't want somebody that is wanting to join Trickers because of this. Because I feel that me and Caboose may actually be able to run this ship as it should be now by ourselves. Now, that was the next topic, guys, is that with the, remember the video I did where I was saying if you'd like to donate to Caboose as a capture card? Well, you no longer need to do that, guys, and nobody did donate in the first place, so you don't need to do it at all. We are actually getting sponsored, um, Synergy Gaming and I. We are getting sponsored by Elgato Game Capture, so I'm actually going to be getting an Elgato Capture card, and I'm going to be able to do a little bit of trolling, not a lot, because that's not my forte. Uh, and Caboose will actually have the Hope Hog, so he will get my old Hope Hog, and he'll get to fuck around with things, as you probably heard in the last commentary. It's really cool, so, you know, if you were going to donate, you don't need to now. If you'd like to donate to the Minecraft server or the DayZ server, we'll still have those options open. Now, that's the next topic, guys, and that's something really cool, is um, I talked about this a couple couple of episodes ago or videos ago I was saying we are actually opening up a private daisy server now guys here is what the server is I'm gonna actually announce it for once and for all is that the server is actually a regular uh, map Chinaris and actually it's gonna be a hacking server now you are not allowed to come on and hack and kill people with the hacking but here's what the server is we are actually bringing on a team of people a couple of hackers and what we're going to do is we're basically going to go and protect the Knight Castle. It's it's a castle that's destroyed. I'm not quite sure of the name off the top of my head. I saw, I'm apologetic for that. But um, 
basically we're gonna fortify it with barricades we're gonna have tents we're gonna have guns everywhere we're gonna have a couple of vehicles not much but basically the whole point is this guys is that the server is gonna be competitive it's not gonna be fighting with each other what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna try to make it so that zombies spawn all around the castle and the whole point is, is that you want to be protecting the castle it's a it's basically a sur zombie survival like the game should be but there's a theme behind it and the theme is that uh, after the zombie apocalypse happened that you know humans started scattering all over the place and if you've seen fallen skies you should be able to understand this but basically what happened is is that after everybody was broken up and all like oh we should only look out for ourselves and nobody else well that thought ended and then basically it led to what is currently known as uh, the survival camps and there's a couple of cities that will be fortified out the ass with these barricades wire traps tanks anything you know of it'll probably be protecting the city and we're going to try to leave battle eye off but if we find even one shred of people cheating on it you're going to be gone in a nanosecond now what the server is guys is this it's not a free server i'm very sorry for that but it is a pay to play we're going to actually have uh, options to do where basically you can buy into the server for $10, but here's the thing. There's no PvP allowed. If you are caught killing somebody, like cold-blooded murder, we're going to ban you off the server immediately. And that's just not its not what we're aiming to do. What we're aiming to do is we're aiming to see who can spend time on the server and then get the most zombie kills with whatever gun. Like Each week we'll try to pick up a gun title or something like that and we'll say, hey, take screenshots of whatever... Um, number of zombie kills you've gotten because we're going to reset the stats at the end of the week so basically it's friendly competition to see who can get the most zombie kills in the most amount of time or least amount of time something like that and basically every week or every two weeks we'll have some sort of like you know reward if you win you get access to a couple of helicopters a couple of light machine guns and just really cool shit like that and we'll try to give you basically uh free access to use most of the items in the game but we're not gonna have like a bunch of hatch crates everywhere that people can basically just come and take whatever they want we're just gonna try to give you basic survival needs but a really uh high amount of supply like we'll give you a mp5 and a bunch of ammo but we're not gonna give you like a ton of medicine to keep everyone else alive it's all it's all about survival but bringing it way close quarters and a little bit tougher to survive in so it's ten dollars to get into the server if you are banned we're gonna allow you to buy back for another five dollars but know this guys that you know the only reason we're doing this is because it's very expensive i'm saying this server literally to host it it was started off at hundred and ten dollars and it's a uh, seventy bucks a month so i mean i'm able to pay that but i need to run off donations i can't pay it all out of my pocket so basically guys ten bucks to get in and here's the cool thing about the server we will actually be getting a lot of attention on it because here's the cool thing. Team Epiphany, I just talked with Ryan, uh, he actually agreed that he's going to do a live stream of the server. So him and his team are actually going to get on for the server for free. And they're going to live stream and they're going to bring on a ton of people. So it's not just going to be like, oh, only members of people who know who Trickers Productions is is actually going to be in the server. No, there's going to be a lot of Team Epiphany people. So it'll be quite cool to see more than just, you know, 10 people on the server at once. So we'll have that up. We're moving the Minecraft server over to the box too, so that the Minecraft server is not going to be running on that shitty performance VPS that we have now. No, it's actually going to be a pretty high quality uh, box server, so that we're going to have high speed again. And then we're going to be bringing back MC MMO PvP. We're going to still do the RPG world where people can just build and have fun and have those building competitions we're talking about. But we're going to bring back PvP with MC MMO and have people have fun again. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then the last thing is, I wanted to talk about what the current situation with uh, the Minecraft server review. I don't know if I've ever brought this up in Topic Guys, but this is actually a really cool idea. Um, I've been wanting to do Minecraft server reviews for a long time. Uh, basically, there's two types of reviews. There's the quote-unquote review, which is basically this. We have uh, Ryan, OMGF, OMFG Wolf. If you don't know him, his channel's in the description. He's a member of Trickers. Uh, we're going to have him and Nestor Galarza. Um, He's a friend of mine who's been on the Minecraft server since I opened one. And basically, the two of them are going to fuck around and go find stupid servers. And they're going to ask for OP and say, Oh yeah, we're doing a video for Trickers Productions. Can we get OP? And they're just going to blow up the server and do stupid shit like change the spawns, make everybody spawn in lava. Things that are... 
painful to the server, but they, the damage can be reversed because we're not that big of assholes. And we're just going to have fun and fuck with people like that. But the other server review, I'm sorry, is that I'm actually going to do legit server reviews. I'm going to find servers with over 30 active players, maybe 20 active players, fun amount of people, with, or with really unique plugins, guys. And basically, I'm asking, if you know servers with these cool features, or they have really a high amount of players and the owner's always around, send them my way, because I want to start doing legit server reviews and push this series to go on to a Machinima realm. Because I've noticed that some people will do server reviews, but only if they like get paid to do it. So... That's not what I'm looking for, guys. I'm looking to actually do legit server reviews. So if you know a server that has over 30 active players and you can actually find the owner, which means I can get into contact with him, then send that uh, IP in my inbox and I will check it out. Or if you want to, you know, if you know a server that has really cool, unique plugins that nobody else has, send it my way and I'll check it out. Do not, under any circumstance, send me a server that is like, uh, oh yeah, we for $10 you can buy admin on our server. Those are not good servers. Those will die out in a month. I want servers that are going to last for over three months or have an active player base, guys. So if you know a server, I would very much appreciate it if you send it my way. And I'll give you credit for telling me the server IP and in the, in the video. And we're going to do legit reviews. And then we're going to do trolling reviews. And we're going to try to get Caboose also to jump in on that. So... And that's really it for now, guys. There's not too much else going on. Uh, the current sponsorship uh, status for Synergy Gaming is actually pretty unique. Uh, we've got Twitch.tv, GamerGrub, GameStop, NOS Energy Drink. We're thinking about dropping Thermal Take Esports because uh, we're trying to get Razer to sponsor us instead. But we're going to try to get them. We've got Elgato. We're talking to uh, Scruff Gaming. They do like uh, controllers and headsets and stuff like Or not headsets, uh, eyewear stuff. It's pretty cool. And then we're, if you know any other ideas or companies that might be able to sponsor us, we would greatly appreciate if you send me a link to their website or something like that. You know, anything to help us get more. Basically, guys, I'm giving away prizes during the event. So if you tell me some companies that are, would be willing to sponsor us, I can give away more prizes and there's a better chance that one of you people might get the prizes because you now know beforehand that I'm giving away prizes. I'm not going to be doing any of that preferential treatment bullshit or taking bribes. But I will be making sure that I, you know, if there, there's variable ways to win prizes. Basically, the way I'm thinking of doing it, and I have to be quick here, guys, is I haven't solidified this idea yet, but it's pretty close to done, is basically we'll have prize raffles. And basically what will happen is we'll have a prize raffle on the Synergy Gaming website, and then maybe the next raffle will be on our Twitter account, and then maybe the next raffle will be on our Facebook page, and then maybe the next raffle will be on our YouTube channel. It's really cool stuff like that. And it'll basically give us a different type of versatility where we'll get like 10,000 subs or something crazy like that. And then we'll pick a random new subscriber. So around that time, guys, it'll actually increase your chances of winning. But I hope you guys are glad that I'm telling you this information beforehand because you guys now know something that nobody else knows. So I hope you stayed in tune and don't forget to send me those messages. I'm sorry this video is so long, guys, but thank you very much and we love you all. Sauteed a hot flame, big rings, fat chains, they all quest for the same. No name, huge fame, strictly new to the thing. We stay true to the game and never bring it to shame. We tight like dreadlocks and red fox and ripple. We pass part of simples and smash the artist in you. The saga continues. This I won't get into. Cause there ain't enough bars to hold the drama that we've been through. Yo.